What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to CoinFlow TV. This is Rob. Today is a new year. I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. January 1st, 2018. Hopefully, everybody had a good night, good day. You're probably getting some rest right now like I am um, and uh, getting prepared for this new year as far as cryptocurrencies or anything else that you guys are working on for the New Year's. Uh, once again, I uh, wish you guys the best of success and uh, blessings and everything good to come your way uh, for the new year, whether you're subscribed to my channel or not, which I want to tell you if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and mash that subscribe button now it's a red button down below um also turn on the uh post notifications you can do that by hitting that little bell that'll tell you every time i make a video um lots of changes coming to the channel this year lots of uh exciting news and uh, things like that and now today i want to talk to you guys about bitconnect x it's the brand new ico that was announced this morning lots of talk about it on youtube if you guys have been on youtube there's tons and tons and tons of videos on BitConnect X. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and on what I think you guys should know moving forward as soon as I get back from this intro. Thanks, guys. Zombie apocalypse. All right, guys, as usual, before we get started, I'd like you to pause this video if possible and read over the few things I'd like you to remember before watching this video. Thanks. Welcome back, guys. So jumping right in here, let's talk about BitConnect X. Obviously, that's the topic of the day. Everybody wants to know what it is, what's going on. Unfortunately, at this point, there's no new news about it. Um, if you go to the website, bitconnectx.co, actually, if you logged into BitConnect earlier, as soon as you get to the login page, it should have popped up a little uh, a little screen that takes you to this page, just kind of letting you know that uh, you know there's uh, a new ICO that's going to beginning. Uh, be beginning in eight days. And five minutes or whatever, it's a BitConnect X ICO. Now, um, the ICO is beginning in eight days, but uh, apparently there will be no information on this uh, platform for 10 days. So we're looking at January 8th, 2018 for ICO launch, January 10th to figure out exactly what's going on with this platform. Two things I do want to point out here. But before I do that, I want to go to their roadmap page. Well, this is the page that you should see when you log into BitConnect. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and log into BitConnect. It's there. Um, if you click on any of this stuff up here, nothing works at this point. So really and truly, there's uh, no information to be revealed about this program as yet. However, if I take you over to the BitConnect roadmap of 2018, which we talked about a few weeks back, we look at January, there's no real news about it here or anything like that. There's nothing that you could have looked at this and expected something to come out of it. Also, if you look at February, the marketing contest and campaign, there's nothing on that either. But let's go down to March. All right, March of 2018, they did announce that there would be a volatility algorithm update. And it reads, changes to volatility algorithm and adding more currencies for trading against BitConnect coin. Now, could this BitConnect X be that one of those currencies that they're going to be adding? You know, we don't know. We don't know what's going on with that. Um, if you look online, there's lots of videos that people are posting uh, that kind of pertain to this, but there's no answers anywhere as far as BitConnect X. So I, um, I kind of looked around, did some digging online, did some digging on the website. Uh, I noticed that this part here, is uh what stands out to me where it says mining so i don't honestly think the bitconnect would launch another lending platform they've already got one that's pretty successful i mean if you look at our bitconnect account and you uh you know if you guys have been following my videos i've been on bitconnect since uh, october 13th of 2017 which is almost two months now i'm up to 1160 dollars i've earned eight hundred and seventy six dollars between affiliate bonuses and lending profits i think that's a pretty successful lending program so going back to bitconnect x um when i look at this mining thing i feel like it's almost going to be some type of a mining platform or cloud mining program that's going to be available to uh to us to get into um don't know how they're planning on taking over the market in that if that's the case now that's just my personal opinion on that also guys uh, if you scroll down, this is the second thing here. It says that for their ICO, they're going to accept BitConnect coin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin. Now, if you guys have been following Bitcoin for the last couple of days, you'll know that Bitcoin fees are astronomical. 
Um, it takes forever to get your transactions confirmed, uh, which would take you to the next two, which is BitConnect, Coin, and Litecoin. I did a transaction with Litecoin the other day. It was $100. It cost me $0.30 cents to make that transaction go through, and it was confirmed within three minutes. BitConnect Coin, obviously, if we send BitConnect Coin from user to user or user to platform, uh, it's within seconds. It goes through. So I say that to say that, uh, and this is on a whole different view. And guys, remember, please, it's the first of the year. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys should definitely not take my word for any of this stuff. Do your own research. I just simply provide results based on my own experiences. Um, with an, a platform as big and as profitable and with so much hype around it as BitConnect, you know, if they post it, they're going to be accepting, obviously, their own coin, which is BitConnect and Litecoin. That could mean big things for Litecoin and BitConnect coin within the next couple of days leading up to this ICO phase. Because think about it. If you've got Bitcoin, yeah, that's great. And obviously, I'm a longtime supporter of Bitcoin and I still support Bitcoin. But we all know that their blockchain is very, very slow right now. The fees are astronomical. So what's the next best thing on an ICO like this? It would be Litecoin and BitConnect coin. All I'm trying to say here is you really need to watch these values for the next couple of days, um, especially the next eight days on Litecoin and BitConnect coin. It could mean some pretty good returns, not only on the ICO, but also on the tokens. If I'm not making any sense to you guys, please let me know in the comments below and uh, we can go, we can talk about it. We'll get a, a conversation going in the uh, in the community about it. So uh, I myself obviously are going to be uh, investing with one of these two currencies. I've got some money staked in BitConnect. Also, I've got some money staked in uh, Litecoin at this point. So that's what I've got on this, the mining thing. And then I wanted to let you guys know about that. There's no other news, unfortunately, about BitConnect X uh, at this time due to the fact that none of these tabs are working. None of them are working. We did see the roadmap saying that they were going to be uh, announcing uh, – in March of 2018, some other currencies to trade against BitConnect. I know that there's not very much information out there on YouTube, except probably the same thing that I'm saying. I try to go in a little bit more in depth on it and uh, give you my thoughts on it, but that's pretty much it. Now let's talk about SFI coin here real quick. So if you guys logged into your SFI uh, coin account and you did participate in the ICO, uh, as of this morning, you would have been surprised to see that there's no SFI coin in your wallet. Now, that did come as a shock to me in the beginning. I did go on their Facebook and, you know, asked a bunch of questions and I had a couple of people answer me. So what they told me is if you go to my ICO wallet, you'll notice that SFI coin has been set to automatic lending. Now, this is something that I did not realize when I bought the coin. But when we bought the coin and SFI coin, uh, a part of that. Um, purchase was acknowledging that they would be automatically lending your coin uh, come January 1st, 2018. How I feel about that, I honestly don't like it too much because of the fact that, you know, when we participate in these ICOs, we do it with the expectation that the coin would be worth a lot more than we purchased it for. Now that it's locked in a lending platform as of January 1st, and then when the ICO launches on, whether it's internal exchange or external exchange, we can't withdraw our coin. We can't sell it. We can't try to make more money off of it. The next thing is that, you know, let's say this coin did go up to $20 or $30 the first day. It would have been a lot more money than $75 of, of uh, lending. So I think SFI coin kind of screwed up there. You know, I'm not 100% mad at them because obviously they did put it in a lending platform. Um, whether or not we're going to see returns every day, I don't see anything where it says today earning here, obviously, because it's still January 1st, 2018. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll give you guys an update on that. But uh, you see, it says lending SFI coin, $75. I wonder if I can unlock that. Nope, I can't. It's locked in there. I just don't like the fact that they did that, but it is completely my fault. And, uh, you know, if you participate in the ICO launch and you fail to look past that part, um, you know, that's just something that we got to deal with at this point. But it was in the section when you went to purchase your coins for ICO, from what I understand. It did say that as of January 1st, 2018, our lending contract started and you would be enrolled in automatic lending. I just hate the fact that when the exchanges launch, launch we won't have access to our coins. Um, as you can see here, I did a 
very, very small amount. I mean, they were only doing $50 minimum on uh, maximums per day. I did it one day. And then uh, once everything was done, I went ahead and bought with my excess Bitcoin that I had. Everything went through great up until this point. I'm just not too happy about the automatic lending because if that coin goes up to $20 and I had 75 coins, then I lost out. I only have $75 in lending balance. Now, whether or not that will update, what's left to see. So I did send them a service ticket. I'm waiting for a response from them. Um, it is New Year's Day, so obviously I'm not expecting a prompt or timely response. But that's all I got on SFI coin. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts on it in the description below. That'll be it for this video. Once again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, please go ahead and mash that red subscribe button now. Hit that bell icon that'll turn on post notifications, let you know every time I film a video. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more valuable information that I'm hoping you guys are benefiting off of. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Happy New Year once again. The truth.